sugar-coated control. You like it? You know what sugar-coated control is? Rewards. Rewards. It says that we're going to pay you to do stuff you should be doing anyway. It says that we're going to, um, we're going to uh, manipulate and coerce you into doing what we want you to do by giving you something that has no relationship to the skill that we want you to learn. When we do too many rewards, we set up a system that is self-centered, a system where kids don't look out for the well-being of others because they become consumed with, are they going to get their reward? And that's against everything that we know is right with a culture right now that is within themselves and not talking to people at the rate they should. They're already in here, in here. But yet we put them on these behavior plans often where they're going to get a tangible reward if they get so many checks or so many points. So a kid comes to me and says, Miss, I'm getting my reward. I've witnessed this too many times. They go to wherever and they go they, with their little ticket in their hand. They go, we're, getting a, we're here for our, our, our prize bucket or whatever. So I asked the kids, I said, a bunch of third graders, one day I asked the third graders, I said, so what do you, um, what did you do to get the prize? And they said, we got tickets. I said, oh, well, how'd you get the tickets? From him, him gave them to us. And I went, oh, who's that? that that's Mr. So-and-so. I said, well, they said his name, of course. And I said, oh, so he gave you those tickets. What'd you do to get them? He gives them to us in the cafeteria. And if your name gets drawn, you get to go get a prize. And they were very annoyed with me. Not one of those kids said to me, because I really learned what they were teaching me about responsibility. And I took the initiative to do what I was supposed to do. And I didn't have to get reminded. And I'm really proud of myself about that. And so this is really fun for me. Not a one of them made that connection. That worries me. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. I speak and consult on school behavior, and I love to help districts solve some of these problems. See you next time.